Alright, so at the beginning of the episode, during a splendid morning on the island of Sodor, James was feeling very pleased with himself. But as he went through, a studio reflection could be seen on his tender. Anyways, James was feeling very pleased with himself. But if you look closely, a lamp is attached to a bridge with some sticky tack. James's red paint gleamed in the sunshine as he sped along the line. He reached the junction just as Percy puffed with some trucks. James was surprised to see him. What are you doing here, Percy? James's tender body is not properly assembled to its chassis. You should be at the station by now. I know, sighed Percy. These cars have been troublesome all morning. That's no excuse, Percy. Nothing should stop us. Sir Topham Hatt relies on us to be on time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. And James puffed importantly away. Bossy buffers, muttered Percy. James arrived at the harbor. It was market day. The harbor yard was filled with the sweet smell of fruit from faraway lands. The food was delivered in big ships. James watched as strawberries, oranges, melons, and bananas were carefully loaded into his trucks. Then he set off for the station on the main line. James is pulling three trucks in one van. In the previous scene, the fruit was loaded into four trucks. This truck somehow gained a face. On the way, James met Thomas. Really reliable, that's me, panted James. Pity the same can't be said for Percy. Goodbye. What was all that about? Gasped Annie and Clarabelle. That was trouble. Trouble for James. Just wait and see. Percy was back in the yard and busy shunting. He had the trucks in good order and was making up for lost time. But the station master had bad news. What's happened? asked Percy's driver. Because the stock footage is used, a close-up of Percy's driver takes place at night. James's brakes have jammed. We need Percy's help right away. Percy quickly set off to the rescue. Percy's cab roof is lifted. James was stuck on the line and looking glum. Percy couldn't help laughing. Got yourself in a bit of a jam, eh, James? A sticky situation? Be quiet. It's not funny having jammed brakes. And not very reliable, either. I'm surprised you let it happen, James. Nothing should stop us engines. That's enough. Because the deleted stock footage is used, Percy's driver is located at the quarry. Can you push these cars? Of course I can. There's no time to lose. James has done too much of that already. James angrily hissed steam as Percy was coupled to the trucks. Off we go, said Percy. I'll have to go fast to get there in time. James's eyes are wonky. James's pony truck is derailed. Be careful, Percy, called his driver. But Percy was in a hurry. He didn't see that the switch had failed and that he had been diverted into a siding. Look out, Percy, shouted his driver and applied the brakes, but it was too late. I'll tell you, if there was no switch failure, Percy would still crash, because if you're looking closely, some stones lay on the second track. The driver and the fireman had jumped clear, but squashed fruit squirted all over Percy. Fun fact, a dishwasher soap was used for the projectile green liquid that squirted on Percy. And the horn sound is slowed down version of Bertie's horn. Sir Topham had arrived. Percy, you are not to blame for the switch failure. Sir Topham had has its arm weakly connected to his body. But I do not run a jam factory. Yes sir, uh, no sir. And Percy squelched sadly away. That night, the shed was silent. There are 11 berths in Tim's sheds, instead of the usual six. James and Percy felt very sorry for themselves. Some pieces of sticky tack were used to create racks. You know, he said to no engine in particular, there's more than one way to get jammed. We all learned that today. Still, there was silence. What's more, we also learned that sometimes when engines help each other out of a jam, things can still go wrong. So, said a voice, 
So, that means we learned a lot today. James has some black glue wrapped around his funnel. Then came a chorus. We're really useful engines after all. So those are all of the goofs found in season 3 episode, Percy, James and the Fruitful Day. I want to thank James is here for being a guest in this goof video. A link to his channel and other accounts are in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video, Maddie, Twin Levels, and I'll see you next time.